Come down. Oh, no. Uh, I understand. <laughs> so, uh, John, just, uh, I think uh, the general message you you are saying that between 5 and 15 of people, who cares? I think uh, it's a little bit uh, dangerous message. Um, just uh, to make it clear, for instance, in your experiment, you are using tidal volume of 20 ml per kilogram. So then the effects of PEEP, they are very different in this scenario. This was hidden in the slides, but you have to remember that we are using 20 ml per kilogram. Yes. And then uh, I think if you were using a kind of uh, 6 to 8 ml per kilogram, you may find a U-shaped curve with a minimum at a some PEEP level that we have to realize. You agree with me? Okay, I will well, say no. In, we were not in this experiment curing the pigs with the RBS. We wanted to prove one concept, that the pressure is part of the mechanical power. That's it. And of course, I can agree with you that uh, in a severe LDS, uh, when the lung is very heavy, when you have the collapse of the literal waves, and that if you look at the CT scan, you can discover also that. Uh, okay. And if, of course, the PEEP you have to keep open the lung uh, is uh, higher than 5, <laughs> five you know. My problem is that the paranoia of having to try to avoid that electrauma using 20, 25, the keep a lung open whatever, at whatever cost is wrong. To me, is the, not the concept of a teletrauma, this exists. It's the problem of the open lung strategy, which is wrong. Because to keep open the lung, you have to use up to 25 or PIP. Even 15 is not necessary. Then I agree with you, between 5 and 15, eh, you play your game. But uh, not, not much. After that, it's dangerous. And I'm wondering how many people have been killed with inverted ratio ventilation or with some uh, strange theory of... Uh, to me, the art... You, you can certify that I was telling you design the study and that I please give me your results before because depending on your result, we will do another study or not. To me now, uh, I think that to, to test the open lung theory in humans uh, is, not, uh, is not ethical. Uh. Then, uh, so, uh, after all the physiological studies you have done, uh, what do you propose? Uh, you, we go back to the PFI2 tables? Well, uh, you know, the people, to, I mean, why the people in this room use PEEP? For one main reason, oxygenation. But you don't believe in this? No, I believe that I want to have at least 60 of PO2, not 30. And then the PO2 goes up. Now, the concept is the PEEP is curative for the lung, and this was to be the concept behind the open lung theory. I don't think it's curative. I think the PIP is a price that you have to pay to maintain the patient alive in time the real cause of the death of RDS, which is not the mechanical ventilation, but is the disease leading to RDS. Mechanical ventilation may add some percent of mortality, but not 20, 30, 40 percent. So we have to use in a clinical practice a common, a common sense. And the PF table, compared to the CT, compared to the transpulmonary pressure, compare, give in the most severe patient the same high PIP levels, but had one great advantage that was not giving very high PIP in the patients with low recruitability. was the only one. And the PIP table, the final two table, was applied common sense, more or less. Deriving from the, the daily experience. And if thousands of doctors in the world, even in severe LDS, use 
8, 10 of P, even in severe RDS, are completely wrong there, or there is some reason for that. So I think we are very calm to accept which are the facts. The facts that we have now are the, until we have some discovery, there will be maybe the closure of the little away pressure, that in my opinion is artifact, but it's another question. We have a gentleman in the back that would like to ask a question first. Yeah. Waving his hand. No, no more than 30 seconds my answer now, I promise you. We're not letting you off that easy. <laughs> yeah, Professor, um, I want to tell you that I'm very much confused because from the school bench I used to know that mechanical power is joules divided to time. Yes, joules divided to minutes. And to get mechanical power from pressure, we have to multiply pressure to flow. Yes? Yes. And you telling us about pressures and then jump to mechanical power. And so it's very confusing. I'm sorry, uh, but uh, mechanic, what hurt the things is the energy. Now, the intensity of energy in watt uh, is the power per second. The mechanical power times the frequency gives you the total amount of energy that you give in one, in one, uh, one minute, ten minutes, and so on. But, uh, uh, when we speak about volume, uh, or uh, flow, or peep and so on, basically are component of the mechanical power. As an example, I showed the slide in which the frequency. Do you think that one big shot once per minute is equivalent to, to 30 shot, 30 times per minute, or 60 times per minute? And we ignore the frequency? Same that the volume, same peep the amount of energy that we deliver the system is completely different. And this is completely ignored, usually. In the web TNA experiments, we have difference in the frequency going from 20 to 48, which are completely ignored, they were just used to maintain the PCO2 at the same level. But they had a tremendous effect of energy delivery to the system. So, great, you can confuse me a little bit more. For me, energy and work uh, is in the same units. It's joules, yes? The, the energy is in joules. The power, now the intensity, the power is in watt. Watt is one joule per second. Yes. Good. <laughs> so, okay. if I have a big, big watt, I can kill one in one shot. Okay, if I give a lot of kilowatt hours, uh, which is not, uh, uh, strictly speaking, the power, it's a total amount of energy that I have to pay from my pocket for electricity, this is the total amount of energy you put in the land. And uh, I think to have the disaster in the land, you need a cumulative power. Because I think that all this damage happens when our repair capability are overcome. I think that any time we breath, uh, in 60 years, we break our land in many places, but we repair. The same with the mechanical ventilation. Very nice. But to get uh, joules, you have to multiply watts on time. Yes? That's right. That, uh, uh, not to have a joule, you have to multiply the volume times pressure. And uh, the volume of time pressure, we have centimeter per liter. If you multiply by 0 0.098, you get the number in joule. If you divide per second, you divide the number in watt. Yes. I know, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, I did not invent that. <laughs> yes. Okay, very confusing. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>